and I had an accident, riding accident uh, last year in May and I took a fall from my young horse and uh, fractured my vertebrae at L2. I didn't realise that I had broken my back so when I went to a and &E, um, the team there were very efficient and um, after x-rays realised that obviously I needed to be admitted straight away. Uh, they were very calm, I was quite panicked, um, quite shocked. I was then admitted to Ward D4 and um, was really amazed at how, again, calm, compassionate. I didn't get scared or anxious because the staff didn't get scared or anxious either and that made a really massive difference. Uh, they were also extremely supportive and uh, around some dignity issues, uh, very understanding and appreciative. I was on the ward for seven days before I had my operation. The surgical team were fantastic, I explained all my options clearly. I was in no doubt as to the best way forward. And here I am a year on. Um, I'm going to have my next operation in a couple of weeks and then I'll be able to start riding again. I, I find it hard to single out any particular one individual because wherever I went in the hospital, whatever the roles that anyone were, the, the roles that people were involved in, um, I had the same role model behaviour, I guess is what I would call it. Very professional, very caring, very considered, and also very much on my agenda. And I'll never forget, the one thing that made a significant difference was when my surgeon never even questioned whether it was sensible to horse ride again. It was very much a case of, you'll be back to normal, and life will go on as it did before, and that was extremely reassuring. So I now volunteer on Ward D4 and work with patients helping them get their heads around what's happened to them. Uh, so I'd just like to say thank you to all the people who crossed my path in Stepping Hill. Hi, my name's Karen and I'm here to talk about my sister, Lisa. I'm Lisa's carer and sister. Lisa has Downs and started to have a problem um, whilst eating. Uh, it became then quite a problem um, of fear of her choking and the way she used her utensils. Um, a lady came and noticed um, the difference in Lisa and got us in touch with Nicola, speech therapist who then went into Lisa's day centre and visited us, us at home. Um, she actually came at tea time and looked at Lisa and we talked about her and how she was eating and how I was dealing with it, which then she went away and came back with a few tips, shall we say, of how to deal with Lisa's eating. Um, that then didn't stop at home, it went into the respite and also into a day centre so that we was all doing the same things. Lisa soon adapted and pretty much uh, after a couple of weeks we noticed a difference. As a family we are now more comfortable and relaxed whereas before we would be perhaps looking at Lisa and how she was going to eat, how she was going to react and obviously it played a big part in the meal time at all. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Nicola for giving us her time because um, she came at tea time and she sat with us and she watched and she also went into the day centre. She also had meetings with the respite people and without her basically we would not be going out for meals anymore and um, basically it has just made one big improvement to Lisa and the family. actually and uh, various things have happened since that have been setbacks haven't they? I've 
very little memory of that exact time. My mother was brought into hospital, admitted to hospital, and didn't apparently have the stroke until a few days after she'd been admitted. She obviously suffered the preamble to a stroke, so was admitted to Stepping Hill Hospital, and it was probably about 10 days after that when she was actually admitted to the stroke rehabilitation ward. I was in there finally for, we worked out, five months, uh, which was a bit of a shock in itself. The, the care was wonderful at every stage. They were kindness itself, they were, when it was necessary, they were light-hearted and made me, for one, feel that things were all right. All the stuff were marvellous. They, they claimed to have fallen in love with my mother, but they were, they were superb and nothing was too much trouble. Everybody was respectful, everybody took particular care and treated my mother as an individual person rather than just a patient. Yes, to that. I just ate the grapes and smiled. <laughs> well, it's, I sent them and I saw Charlotte and the rest of my family send a great big thank you. A wave of appreciation that they must surely feel felt when I left. I should line them up and kiss them all. I'm Rachel Harley and this is my baby Ruby and she's nine weeks old. My whole experience with Stepping Hill was fantastic, right from the community midwives right through to my labour which wasn't the easiest. I felt reassured and safe with every single person that I came in contact with. I had three midwives during my labour, all three were fantastic and if I could have brought them home with me I would have done. They felt, they kept me safe, they reassured me, they told me what was happening. I ended up having an emergency cesarean um, and throughout the whole process we were kept informed what was happening, we were told what, what was going to be happening which reassured my husband because at that point he wasn't too sure what was going on um, and all the staff made me feel very safe <coughs> and very um, calm in that situation. Uh, all the midwives were great, they couldn't do enough for me, they were helping with uh, Ruby, they were helping me feed her which I wasn't too sure about being a new mum. They um, helped me in and out of my bed um, to get everything sorted. I'd like to thank all the people that helped me from the beginning of my pregnancy right through to me leaving the hospital with my baby. You were all great and I couldn't have done it without you. I had my liver transplant in May 2001, which makes me Dr. Darcy's first ever liver transplant patient. We're good friends, Dr. Darcy and I. We've seen a lot of each other over the years. And to coin a phrase, he knows me inside and out. I always celebrate my rebirth day, as I call it, May the 19th, 2001, with my family and friends. They're very generous, I get flowers and cards and balloons and gifts. I always remember to the family of a 23 year old girl from Ireland whose family are grieving on the day that we are celebrating. Without her generosity and forethought, I would not be here today to tell the story. I have great belief in my doctors, in the powers of medical science, and most days, but not all, belief in myself. Can I please take this opportunity to thank Dr. Daz here at Stepping Hill with all my heart. I have spent a lot of time over the years in hospitals and I have to say that I am greatly indebted to the staff at Stepping Hill for their love and care. The work they do is nothing short of miraculous 
and there are many people enjoying a good life today who would not be around if it wasn't for their dedication and expertise. My name is Pat Bryant and um, my mother came into the hospital on the 16th of January and was in here for 10 weeks. She was on D1 most of the time and she had a fractured acetabulum. I cannot but say that the ward was wonderful. 100% of the nurses and the staff were kind to her and she loved it there. The 10 weeks that she was in, the, she was at one stage very ill and she was, I should think, sometimes difficult but never once did the staff get angry or fed up with her and whenever she wanted anything they were there to give it to her. So I'm very thankful to D1 because I think the nursing care was absolutely wonderful and I say thank you to them all.